Investigative Politics. Joining me now is Boris Epstein, conservative analyst and contributor for The Daily Caller. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, absolutely. All right. The president is ready to hit the road. There's word that he's going to really try to eliminate Fannie and Freddie. What kind of effect is that going to have on, you know, homeowners? Well, what that will do is it will eliminate the government backing, really, to a degree for homeowners. It will eliminate the guarantee that stands behind a homeowner saying, I have the government behind me in case I default on my loans. And what it will do is it will make sure that the private loans are wiped out first before any government guarantee is kicked in. So it's an interesting proposal. It'll be interesting if he's able, the president is able to work with Congress, with the House rep uh, representative, uh, first and foremost, to get this through and get this done. As you've seen in this presidency, there's a lot of proposals that have been made, but right. he either doesn't follow through and leaves them on the cutting room floor, or he's unable to work with Congress to bring them into life. So a proposal is good, but you really have to make it happen to make it worthwhile. On the whole, could it possibly boost the economy in any way? So it probably will not move the needle too much. You know, he's going to Phoenix, which is interesting. That's where he'll announce this. Right. That's where the crisis started. But in Phoenix, they've really rebounded very well and better than most places. So will this move the needle? No, but as part of a package, it'll be an important piece. Well, Chelsea Clinton, we're going to switch gears because okay. she's talking about possibly moving the needle. And in, in the political realm, if you will, she's in Africa dealing with uh, the Clinton Foundation, but she left the door open to maybe following in her parents' footsteps. What do you think about that? Well, I think for now, the Clinton to focus on is Hillary Clinton. We need to see what happens in 2016. But Chelsea Clinton is going to be a, a formidable player if she does throw her hat in. You know, we had John Quincy Adams, we had the Bushes. This is history of children of presidents becoming presidents, and even wider history of children becoming very active. You know, the Tafts, the Cabot Lodges, very active in politics. So there is a lot of uh, dynastic politics in right. America, and she could follow those you, steps. You think we're going to see her step up if her mom so chooses to run? We've been talking about that a lot. You think she'll be a part of that? Obviously, she was the last time around. She gave speeches and was on a campaign trail. She will, uh, and I think that will be more of a testing ground than it even it was in 2008 to see how well she does, how prepared she is to be out there. And you could still engage you more in almost debates uh, sort of with, uh, with the public or answer some questions to those that can't pain events. Mm -hmm. And if she does well, there definitely is a future there for her because hey, Bill Clinton is a very popular president and no Hillary Clinton is very well liked right now, one of the most popular politicians we have. So the door is open for Chelsea, no question about it. Seems like it's so far away. We're, we still got to get to 2016. We're already talking about Chelsea Clinton. Hey, we still got to get to the midterm. We got, <laughs> we got to get through 2013 to begin with. Right, get through today. <laughs> Thank you for, yes, Absolutely. get through this morning. And speaking of getting through this morning, coming up, Bill Karens and Richard Louis will be here for First Buzz.